also a one and only exclusive, a man accused of stealing a ritzy ride from a Sunny Isles Beach hotel. He is now behind bars. And the criminal in this case actually set himself up for failure. Local 10's Rosh Lowe is working this one for us. He's in Sunny Isles Beach with the bizarre end. This one came to Rosh. I haven't seen anything quite like this, where a suspect would actually take a taxi cab back to the scene of the alleged crime. But there's more. When he arrives back to the scene, the cops are waiting for him, and it's all on video. Take a look. Okay, let's begin here. The Ritz-Carlton residences on Sunny Isles Beach. This guy in the yellow hat, say cops, pulls up in a stolen Mercedes-Benz, but he's looking to upgrade his ride. This new Ferrari catches his eye. Dumps the Mercedes and decides to steal a brand new Ferrari worth a couple hundred thousand dollars. Okay, let's get to the still photos. You can see him getting into the Ferrari and taking off. Takes the Ferrari out joyriding and completely demolishes it on the 826. Apparently he has a need for speed because cops say he takes the luxury car on a joyride and totals the Ferrari. Here are those photos. But he has a problem now. He doesn't have a ride, so what does he do? From the crash site, he hailed a taxi, took a cab from the crash site in, Hi in uh, Hylia Gardens all the way back to Sunny Isles because he decided he was going to go back to the Ritz-Carlton and re-steal the original Mercedes. But there's a problem. Sunny Isles Beach police are there taking a report on the stolen Ferrari. So what's he going to do? Let's get to this video. There is nowhere to race now. A brief struggle ensues. They end up using their taser to, to uh, get him into custody. His name is Tyler Theme, and he's behind bars. And what was he thinking? For one, I'm wondering if he had a mind. <laughs> and for two, uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, he, he was out of a car because he totaled the Ferrari. So he figured, well, hey, I still have that stolen Mercedes. Maybe nobody noticed. Maybe, no, no, maybe nobody noticed me stealing the couple hundred thousand dollar Ferrari out of the valet. Oh boy, they did notice though. You saw that in the video when he came back to the Ritz, the cops were waiting and this was actually a difficult arrest. He got into that stolen Mercedes and cops believe he was trying to take off, but they got him into custody. And they also believe that this guy may be behind other high end thefts. But what makes this case very unique and strange is that he took a cab back to the scene of the alleged crime where he was caught. More for you tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, I'm live in Sunny Isles Beach, Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.